Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of February the 1st through to the 7th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have the Two of Cups in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana Justice in the upright. And next, we have the Six of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Major Arcana, the Chariot. And lastly, we have the Knight of Wands in the upright position. All of your cards are in the upright. So for your overall energy, Leo, you have that of the Two of Cups in the upright position. Beautiful energy. You're going to be on the same page with someone this week. Now, I'm not sure who it is because, remember, it's just a general read. So it's going to be different for all of you. But this could be definitely soulmate energy maybe you're meeting somebody new those of you who are single and looking you could be meeting someone new this week that is so much like you it's could be like your other half this could be twin flame kind of energy or soulmate just being very connected to another now this could be spending time with a best friend where we're just so simpatico with this person or it could be, like I said, a new person arriving on the scene. Or for some of you, this could be your partner um, or someone else that you get along very, very well with. It's just seeing eye to eye, being on the same page. If it's the overall energy, this could be something that's very prominent to you the whole week. Maybe you're planning something or doing something with either your partner or this new person or what have you and you find yourself just going yes yes exactly exactly and you're just clicking and you're, and you're making it make sense and make work making it work making it work in the um beginning of the week we do have justice here the uh libra energy you could be dealing with a libra or you could just be dealing with the court system or you could just be dealing with a system that was perhaps or a situation that was unfair and unbalanced uh, maybe the, you know, this could be a situation that was playing out at your work. Maybe there were some unfair happenings that happened there and now something came to light and now someone has fixed it, has brought, you know, the justice to the situation. This could be representative of poetic justice for some of you. Maybe you are witnessing some situation and you're going, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I could see where that happened. <laughs> Uh, this could be where you're dealing, like I said, with the actual court system. Maybe you're, you know, having some type of uh, final judgment coming down from the judge or something like that. It's in the upright position, so it looks like, you know, justice will be done in this situation. And it could be connected to your past or someone from the past. We do have the Six of Cups here in the upright position. This is the bla ba Blast from the Past card. This is interesting because this is soulmate energy and so is this. So there could definitely be someone from the past, perhaps, Leo, that is returning and you're really connecting or clicking with this person and you're just happy to be with them. Maybe you're forming something, could be forming a business together. And maybe this is someone who you're on board with to you know, work with or form a business together. This could be definitely romance and love that's connected somehow to the past. There could be some justice that you finally hear about or see that was connected somehow to your past. So whatever the situation is, sometimes this is getting together with a group of friends or people we haven't seen in a while where we're connecting and uh, could be talking on the phone or what have you, or maybe you just run into this person somewhere and you're like, wow, I haven't seen you in forever. And maybe you start to talking and, you know, reminiscing, playing remember when. <laughs> it could be, um, you know, like I said, that, for some of you. It could be representative of two of the one that got away. Sometimes we dated somebody back in the in the past and we were hooked up and they were hooked up and you know nothing ever came of it. But now perhaps you're both single and this could be the timing is right. Could be a cancer for some of you. Now we're moving on towards the weekend. We do have the chariot here in the upright position. This is can cancer energy. And um the chariot's all about fast movement forward, knowing exactly where we're going, um, just heading straight towards what we believe is a, a victory. For some of you, it's a romantic victory. You know exactly what you're doing. You're connecting back up again with this person and you're heading towards them. For some of you, it, there could be some quick travel involved because sometimes the chariot does, um, you know, represent 
uh, travel for some of you it could be about a vehicle maybe some of you are purchasing a vehicle or selling a vehicle or you could be um, perhaps you know headed on a fast track to a victory maybe this is like a quick victory though this is something that you can't it's like for me the chariots victory is like a sure thing it's like you know exactly which way to go and you want to move there quickly maybe some of you want to get a jump on something you want to get um, ahead of a competitor or something like that to be able to jump on something this is because you know exactly where you're going and how you're going to get there and you know that success is imminent if you just move on it quickly I always say just don't steamroll over anybody's toes on your on your way with this energy because it is very fast moving like I said could be requiring some quick travel maybe some of you are hooking up, connecting again in a love relationship with somebody and they could be traveling towards you or maybe you are traveling towards them. Could be, uh, like I said, could be an old friend who felt like a, you know, a simpatico type of uh, character energy that, that feels like a soulmate. Now, soulmates are not always, um, you know, romantic. Sometimes your soulmate can be, you know, your BFF and that, and this is somebody who you just, you know, spent a lot of different lifetimes with and have been, you know, connected to them spiritually for a long time. But it could also very well be your romantic partner or somebody like that. Now, the last card you have here is the Pajama Man. We've got the Knight of Wands in the upright position. It is a court card. Could be representing a person if it's representing a person. Now we have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Sun, moon, arising, male or female. It could be for some of you that you have someone in your midst. Maybe you're just, you want to move very quickly towards them. We've, for signs, we do have um, Cancer here. We have uh, Libra and perhaps a, a fire sign. But it could be any sign, really. But this is also because it's fire energy. This could be you coming up in your own reading. Uh, you're in the on the right track, whatever it is you're doing. But you already know that because of the the chariot being here tells me you already know that the success you're going after, you know, is already a sure thing. So whether it be a romantic success or if it's you know a job thing or what whatever it may be, it's something you already know. Success is at the end of the road for you with this. And now this could be you offering because the Knight of Wands, like all knights, bring in some kind of offer. Now it could be you wanting to make an offer. You could be wanting to make an offer of of uh, passion, romance, excitement, adventure. This could be you just sort of, you know, getting in your vehicle and going and visiting this person. Maybe this person only lives like an hour away or something and you're driving towards them and you want to make an offer like, come, let's go and do something fun some or maybe you're very passionate about this person and this person is very passionate towards you or this could be an offer to travel there's two potentials for travel here at the end of the week for you leo so perhaps some of you are uh intending on taking on some quick travel could be due to a close friend a business partnership that's really really clicking and for others of you, this is totally a romantic thing, something that's come back on the scene again. For others of you, this could be, if you have anything up for sale, maybe it's an offer for a quick sale, or it could just be somebody coming and arriving on the scene. Could be a wild and crazy friend that just wants to hang out <laughs> and is coming towards you. So that is your reading, Leo. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.